friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. When you see today's video, I'm currently in San Diego living my best life, but I still have a grocery haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, this is how I've lost almost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and definitely come join our Facebook group. I will be posting pictures on my Instagram, pictures on Facebook group from my trip, and it's just a great way to keep up with me a little bit more day to day. So let me turn you around and let's jump into the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I did a Walmart grocery pickup. I am heading out of town at, I'm filming today's video on Wednesday. I head to San Diego tomorrow, Thursday. So most of what I picked up is for Troy. I did grab a few things for some recipes when I get home. So let me show you what I grabbed for the week from Walmart. Most. Of course I picked up some more cereal for Troy. They did have the fiber one. They haven't had this the last few trips. So I grabbed the big box of that and then the family size box of the toasted berry crisp. These are actually his two favorite cereals and they had them both. So I picked up both and then I got some milk. Apparently they only had one gallon of 1% milk. So they substituted with two half gallons. It doesn't matter to me, but I thought that was interesting that they had one full gallon and then had to make a substitution for the second one. I also grabbed some cottage cheese. Troy can eat this while I'm out of town. And then I picked up some fruit as well. And then some chicken bone broth. This is for a recipe this next week. I've been substituting bone broth for chicken broth just to get in the extra protein. There's really no protein in chicken broth and you can get a good amount in bone broth. So I've been doing that substitution a lot. And then lots of pizza. He asked for frozen pizzas while I'm gone. This is really easy lunch dinner for him. I'm also going to make those baked beans from my meal planned this last week and have those for him as well. But I did get a four meat pizza. Spoiler alert, this Sam's Choice Thin Crust Pizza is so good. And I wanna say these pizzas are five or six dollars. Fantastic, highly recommend. So I did get a four meat, a pepperoni, and a supreme, all in thin crust. We both prefer thin crust pizza over regular crust. I ordered him two bags of popcorn, but they were out of the Himalayan salt. So they substituted the Himalayan sweet, sweet and salty, so like a kettle corn. I've never had this, and I love lesser evil popcorn. So I'm hoping that he likes this because they were out of just the regular butter popcorn. So I did grab two bags. He wanted some pepperoni, to to add to the pizzas. He always likes to add some additional toppings. So I did pick up the pepperoni and then I did get mozzarella cheese for him as well. He likes to add extra cheese, extra pepperoni, just kind of extra toppings in general to the frozen pizzas. And then I actually needed some light shredded cheese for a recipe. Grab some lunch meat. This is the boar's head garlic chicken breast. I thought that that would be good for him to have sandwiches, wraps, quesadillas, things like that while I was gone. And then of course I like to make turkey roll ups and I like to make them on my lavash bread. Speaking of lavash bread, it was out of stock. So I was a little bummed out about that. I do have some sprouted bread and I have some low carb tortillas, but you know I love my lavash bread. So hopefully he'll eat some of that while I'm gone. And then for fun, I did get him some peanut butter cookies just so he had a little something sweet while I was gone. And then for veggies, um, mushrooms. That way he can add some of those to the pizza for an extra veg. And then I needed some broccoli for a dinner recipe. I will tell you guys what's on my menu for dinners after the grocery haul. And don't forget there will not be a video tomorrow, Sunday, and there will not be a meal prep on Monday since I won't be here. But I do have a really good dinner recipe to share with you in next week's What I Eat in a Day. And that's actually what I needed the broccoli for. I did get raspberries and blackberries for Troy while I'm gone. And then of course, for the week when I get back. And then no surprise, some mini cucumbers. I also picked up a case of Diet Coke and a big case of Gatorade Zero for Troy as well. So that's it, kind of a small haul this week. I've had pretty big hauls the last couple weeks and I am going to be making a Costco run, which we always know ends up being 
a massive grocery haul. So that is everything for the week. Let me show you what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Obviously Saturdays isn't out for dinner day. Sunday I will still be in San Diego, but I am back on Monday. So in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, you will see the cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice. I'm really excited for this recipe. So that will be in Wednesday's video. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, we're doing sloppy joes. And then Thursday and Friday, we will make sure we eat up all the leftovers from earlier in the week. And don't forget, there will not be a meal prep up on Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up for the week. Stay tuned for that really good recipe in this next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here and turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, definitely come join us over on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you next time.